I'm delighted to be joined today by LA County District Attorney Jackie Lacey. So nice to have you here. It's nice to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. You know, you've had a lot of specific priorities, your effort to protect seniors, you know, your effort to help those who've been trafficked, human trafficked, the unhoused and the mentally ill. How do you feel they are right now? Where are they in their standing? I, I think we've made substantial improvements on a number of fronts. For instance, with seniors, um, you know, I got involved in that project because of my mother was scammed uh, by a phone con artist who said, uh, we have your grandson in jail. Don't tell anybody, but just wire cash to this particular place. And what did they pick the wrong woman? They picked the wrong family, <laughs> I must tell you, because we all got involved in stopping it. But it got me to thinking that there are a lot of seniors who are falling victims to that. So we have been on a very deliberate, robust campaign to let seniors know, hey, look, uh, be aware of this, that if somebody asks for any personal information, uh, be wary and, and hang up. So we've done that. With human trafficking, I'm most proud of the fact that we stopped really going after the women and the girls who are on the street because, because we started to ask the question, who's making that money? And really we've gone after traffickers in a very uh, robust and, and I think the right, you know, in my opinion, the right way. Uh, some of those traffickers are getting life in prison who are trafficking girls and, and women, and as, as they should, because this is uh, a terrible thing to enslave someone and force them to uh, use their bodies in order for you for you to benefit. Now, mental health. We're in the process, it's been five years since I published the Blueprint for Change. And one report that I, I think would be interesting uh, for our viewers to note is in Los Angeles City. The police department, uh, LAPD noted that there was a 43% decrease in the use of force against those who have a mental health crisis. That's huge. Uh, that should be on billboards. And much of it has been because we've trained officers in de-escalation, but I'd love to see those numbers go down further. And that's the work I really want to do. If we had the right mental health services in place, we just would not need to have these people in jail. And jail really should be reserved for those uh, who are a danger to our society. Do you feel the weight of being not just the first woman LADA, but also the first woman of color? you get a lot of feedback, particularly from girls of color, and you can see it. They're looking at you and you're thinking, okay, you have given me hope. And, and, and there's a responsibility with that. You want to not just be the first uh, person of your race or your, uh, the first woman, you want to be the best, right? And so you want to make sure that you do things for the right reasons, that you never embarrass the office, that you achieve, that you accomplish things, because you know that there are people who are inspired by watching you, and they may be inspired to also seek to be the first in their field. Well, it's been delightful talking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you.